find an answer to this question at the very bottom of the ocean. At the very bottom of the ocean today, there's a place called Tag Mound. This is a geological deposit that right now is spewing silica and underneath several miles of ocean, the scientists went out on a boat and they set up a drill platform and they drilled all the way down through the miles of water and then they went into the surface of, of the ocean, down on the very bottom of it, on the ground, they drilled into a mound and in it they were able to find quartz and they found some pyrite and some salt and they also found these sitting right on the surface of the mound. So we've chosen to call this type of chalcedony surface chalcedony because it grows right on the surface and you can see these really neat little bubbles they kind of create at the top. It's smooth. Here's another one here. And they, they give the impression that underneath it you can see that it was on the, on the surface, it was surface it was on. Because on the bottom part it's flat, it's rough, so you can tell it was grown on the surface. So now let's learn about surface chalcedony from around the world. What we have here is surface chalcedony forming on the host rock, or what we call in situ. You can see this piece here and this piece over here actually attached right to the rock because that's what it grew on. This one has a lot of crystals growing here on the top. This is pure quartz here and you can see the chalcedony swirling inside but look underneath. You can see how that formed right there. So this is a wonderful example of surface chalcedony from South America. Uh, now we're going to look at some from Africa area. This is Madagascar. And what you're looking at here is, an, is another example of surface chalcedony that was formed once again on the surface of a desert. This is mostly sand. It's up in the mountains, but a lot of sandy areas. And that's the top part. And this is the bottom part. And you can see how it's rougher. So now we have to ask this question. Look out here in the desert. These only grow on the surface on the bottom of an ocean. That means what we're standing on right here had several miles of water above us and this is where uh, these all formed. So several miles of water? How long ago are we talking? Well if we look around here these didn't get eroded from any mountain. They grew right here and they're only on the surface. If we dig out on the ground we don't find, we don't find them. So these had to be formed here and then they have stayed here. They're in the same place they were formed, which means they were formed within the last several thousand years. Very important, because this is when the universal flood took place. This is direct evidence. Everything out here actually is evidence of the universal flood. <laughs>